Welcome back everybody. During this quarantine, it's really nice to have someone to talk to and to cheer up. For the last 25 years of my career, I taught mostly math and physics at H.B. Beale Secondary School in London, Ontario, Canada. Hence the t-shirt, one of my many Beale t-shirts. Not being a chemist, however, I only tell chemistry jokes very periodically, if you catch my drift. Unfortunately for you, today's one of those occasions. The other reason I don't tell many chemistry jokes is because the best ones are gone, if you catch my drift. What do chemists call a clown in a jail? A silicon. And what's the chemical formula for ice? Any ideas? H2O? Not quite. Ice? H2O cubed. Get it? And how was the second date that oxygen and potassium went on? Well, it was OK2. And what's the chemist's favorite fish? Why, that would be tuna, of course. And what's this? There's a long chemical formula for you. Why, of course, that's H2O. And what's the formula for a banana? How about B A N A 2? If you look hard enough, you should see this symbol somewhere on the periodic table. What in the world is that? Why, of course, that's the element of surprise. During this quarantine, I've been reading a really, really good book on helium. The problem is I can't seem to put it down. It's up there somewhere. Now at home, I know what you're saying right now. You're saying either, talking about helium, or perhaps, am I right? Okay, just one more. Please complete the following expression. What's that chemical formula? Sound it out if you can't get it. Hakuna Matata. You got it. <laughs> All right. I take no responsibility for the bad chemistry jokes or any of the incorrect formulas or symbols. See you next time.